Hi friends, in these days I have decided to do a little remake of the video I have made two years ago about uh, Buckler Dreams. So um, you will see this video uh, attached at the end of this video. Um, it is still a quite useful tool to train uh, Buckler movements, but uh, in these two years of course I have improved um, and I have changed uh, a number of things on my uh, training method and uh, in my action too. So let's see in this video uh, two um, little exercises to improve your back movements. So the first of these two exercises is basically uh, moving the back around your weapon while you are thrusting. When you are fencing with sword and back, you will notice that uh, when you are cutting uh, leave uh, uh, safe for just one action um, you will basically keep the, the buckler standing in one position you will maybe just do little movements but when you are cutting well, uh, most of the times your buckler stays more or less in the same place while when you are trusting this is the time in which your buckler become more active and this is the problem uh, this is what we have to train this is probably one of the hardest uh, thing to do in uh, sparring uh, you have to train it a lot so try to do this exercise and you will see uh, improvements now as you will see this first exercise is basically uh, moving the, the buckler around the weapon and the weapon around the body you have to do it very slowly so you will feel uh, through your muscles uh, a little pain because it is very tiring to do this exercise for a long time. This will train uh, both your muscles to trust in a good way and to keep your uh, weapons up and your uh, buckler hand in movements. Okay, let's see the exercise. So as you have seen, we put the buckler in three different positions, which are two angles on the top and the flat on the bottom. Uh, this is because uh, these are the these are the lines which are most commonly used by uh, by fencers. When you are closing the uh, the line below your uh, your hand, you have just to close it in a more flat way because uh, every cut tend to go for the hands and it will pass from this uh, portion of, uh, of space while uh, when people cut from above they of course they have the tendency as uh, the cut from below to, to cut from an angle but uh, these cuts are more harder to, to bury uh, and uh, you have the you need the space to trust in a, in a more easy way so you have to do a compromise uh, between these two things. You have to keep the angle 
your buckler at an angle so you can trust at the maximum reach and at the same time bear with the opponent up. Now it is more easy to, in my opinion, to do the cross end of the action even if it seems more complicated because uh, as soon as you start training it becomes easy to do. The simple trust is the more harder to do. Now most of you probably will complain about like broken with wrist position or stuff like that but uh, the truth is that there is not a really uh, easy way to, to keep the, the wrist in, the, in line and trust uh, uh, at the, a long distance. It is almost impossible and uh, even if you are moving your hands in different position you, you move the, the wrist in the same position and this is the position of trusting with all the weapons that you see after this so a rapier or a foil or whatever so uh, in the standard trust position when you have uh, your uh, your hand uh, in the terza position so it's this way it is more harder to to, um, to keep the alignment and it is more harder, uh, it is more harder to trust in a, in a, uh, in a fluid way so you have to train this a bit more even if it seems the more easy way to do a trust. Uh, that said, let's see the second exercise. So as you have seen, the last exercise is far more easy than the first one. Um, for the experienced buckler fencers, I would suggest I would suggest you to try the one with the grappling motions, which is the uh, one of the hardest uh, action to do in, the, in sparring. And uh, for the beginners, I will suggest you to do the uh, arch shield and the uh, elongated uh, thrust version is more easier to do and which is more useful because, because uh, it have more uh, chance to apply it inspiring especially the first um, in the first days of practice okay I hope this video will help you remember if you want to see more of my videos and you want to support me in my work just give a look to my patreon page uh, down uh, in, uh, under this video and um, I hope you will like uh, my work, thanks for watching, see you next time.